Hi, so today I'm going to review an application, um, Xscope. Um, and Xscope is available on the Mac App Store. And um, it's a collection of eight um, tools um, that for are designed for um, web developers um, and developers in general um, and graphic designers. So, um, it was actually on the one of the top developer apps at one point on the Mac App Store, um, and it it costs thirty dollars. But and if you do the math, there um, each tool is about um, three dollars seventy five cents so that's actually a pretty good good deal considering what you get with Xscope so when I open Xscope I get this nice little help window that pops up that talks um, and you can read about the different tools in this window um, and also this um, little toolbar with all the eight tools um, and I'm going to talk about each one of these in this video. So I'm going to use our site as an example for this um, because some of these tools do are good for web design as I said earlier. Um, but yeah, um, so the first tool here is mirroring and basically you've got a couple of options for this tool um, you can mirror the cur window under your cursor so um, like here I could mirror Michael's slide um, and I could also drop files um, in to mirror into this like maybe if I switch over to Chrome here I could drag this over and drop it except I don't have anything to mirror it to um, I can also mirror the clipboard so I'm like copy something on this page um, and I believe Photoshop as well if this logo this will load for us All right. Okay, well, it's not cooperating, but yeah, I believe it's Photoshop anyway. So the next tool I'm going to talk about is, um, it's called Dimensions, I believe. Um, so basically how this works is, um, like it'll follow my cursor the center point of this and basically there are guides between elements on this page um, where the baseline of both horizontal and vertical um, well actually actually um, there's one one of the edge lines is at the edge of my recording window but so um but yeah it it's quite if it wasn't there it would span across the entire page um if nothing's blocking it like right here it should be um but yeah i mean it's useful to, to figure out like spacing between elements like here I can see that um, there are 26 pixels in this vertically in this E between or 30 whichever <laughs> um, so yeah I mean that's useful um, if you wanna um, figure out sizing of stuff so this next tool is rulers and again this is a measurement tool um, basically it allows you to um, 
it's basically a ruler on your screen and I can move it around and like measure how many pixels things are. I want to say I can change the inches but using a drop down menu. Um, yeah, well I, I'm not seeing something here but uh, I mean there are also calipers in this new version that I can use and basically that's kind of helpful um, for figuring out more exactly what these dimensions is because like some of these pixel measurements are kind of harder to see I mean I guess I can move my mouse around it but still but yeah I can lengthen it and both vertically and horizontally and I can also rotate it um, in a full 360 so I mean that's kinda awesome I mean I can only see a right angle with this I think I'm the, um, some certain degree presets um, like 30 degrees and stuff so if you want to do something fancy with that okay so this next tool is one of my personal favorites um, it's called screens and basically what it allows you to do is um, view how your web page is going to look on different mobile devices like here we're looking at iPhone the original iPhone portrait mode um, and it also has um, like iPhone and Retina which, which is actually quite a lot larger um, probably based on the simulator size I would imagine since it's so it's large on my screen <laughs> um, also iPad and Android um, 124 by 768 I that must be something to do with the video because I have no idea what what is that screen size um, anyway um, yeah so that's useful I can also do a screenshot with the camera button I'm not really sure where it's saving that on your computer and if you press the arrow button on the um, right side of your screen um, you can view how the page is going to look with different iPhone um, elements um, on your screen as well. Like here, this is with the iPhone keyboard. Um, and I could also add in like other stuff too, like the, um, let's go with the ad Safari address bar and the Safari keyboard. Um, and you can see that's quite a lot smaller so um, something to be mindful of um, another cool thing about um, the screens is um, if like right now we're looking at it in normal how you and I would normally see it but if I click this drop down menu we can see how di people with different vision would see it like now we're looking at um, a type of blindness as you can see it's a lot more blurry because that's what blindness looks like is like um, elements on the page that is um, and we cannot the rest are basically color blindness types so um, you can that's you quite useful for graphic designers um, to see how their page is going to look to someone else um, who doesn't have quite 100 percent good vision so going on about this um, color blindness view because I think it's kind of cool um, just to show you it's not some gimmick I have open in this other tab a color blindness test so to prove to you that this is actually color blindness view. So um, look, uh, this one everyone should be able to see. So we're not gonna waste time on it. Um, 
Uh, now, this one here, basically colorblind individuals should only be able to see the um, yellow square and they, they're they not going to see the circle um, at all. It's just going to be green. So, um, if we look at this in colorblind, this person wouldn't be able to see it. Um, I'll s so this person it's kind of pretty much non-existent um here you can see it again here sort of a bit faint but it's there um again faint but there um and here you can definitely see it so basically uh, the the first two are the main problems so moving right along in the Xscope tool set, um, this next one is another one of my favorites. It's called Loop. And basically um, how this one works is um, you can see basically um, this is actually a magnified view of what's under my cursor. And you can see that center um, black outline pixel um, is basically the exact pixel that my cursor is hovering over so um, and basically um, I mean again you have the different vision types but in this one I find they're not as useful um, the main thing you want to be looking at for this one is um, this the drop down menu thing which and you can see with that um, basically there's a um, what looks like gibberish, but this is actually the hexadecimal um, name for the color. Um, so, like, which would be what would be used to reference this color in CSS. Um, there are actually a few more ways I could view it, though. Like, I can view like the color name, for instance. Um, I'm not sure where it's getting these n color names from, but apparently it has a database of it, of color names, so to reference. So, I mean, I guess sort of useful um, for layman's terms. Um, I can also view like RGB um, values, so I mean that would be useful in Photoshop, and I can view that as percentages as well. Um, HSL, I'm not sure what that is, but I'd imagine it's useful for someone out there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, loop. I mainly use the CSS um, hexadecimal values because that's what it, I normally use in code, but I mean, sometimes I use RGB, so you know. And then, so that's basically useful for graphic design. Okay, so I'm going to try to um, go through these last few tools um, quick, pretty quickly since um, uh, so this doesn't end up longer than it has to be. And um, also just because this is already kind of long. Um, so this next one is guides and it's basically another measuring tool. Like, and you can set up both vertical and horizontal guides. I'm just going to do horizontal in this case, um, just because it's going to be easier for you to see. And basically, I should be able to set up another horizontal guide in a minute. Uh, there we go. And you can see that it'll show the number of pixels between the two guides. So, I mean that's useful like I can figure out how high this image is um, um, with those guides and um, yeah so I mean yeah as I said I could also do vertical and I can also link them by pressing the chain link button um, on the far right and then move them together like that so yeah that's basically guys this next one is frames it's basically for 
more of a UI design tool, so like more for developers, less of a graphic design thing. I don't find myself using this too much, but then again, I haven't um, had to design a whole UI for someone. Um, I mean, I guess CSS, some internet stuff I have done UI work, but I mean, that pretty basic stuff, you know, nothing too large enough that I would need to use this, so. I mean, so, yeah, this next one, I forget the name of it, but it's basically the same as Dimensions, um, except in relation to the screen size um, of your computer, so like the here it's showing where where my cursor is um with respect to the upper left hand corner of the screen so i mean that's i again more useful for app developers so that is pretty much xscope for you um overall i'd say it's worth a download um I mean, a lot of it's measurement, as you saw, but, um, I mean, even, I mean, overall, it does offer a variety of good options for that, and, uh, loop and s screens, as you saw, were, are de extremely helpful, especially if you don't have Xcode or something, so, oh, overall, I would say, it's worth a download.